Hyun feels overwhelmed by the villagers, as they all seem to like him and want to talk with him. Minho and his wife rescue him from them, and he sits asking if they celebrate that way when there is a new person. Minho's wife explains that it is a small town so they try to stay together. She says they share good things and congratulate each other. So it is not like they just like to drink. The village head agrees with her and tells Hyun that sharing is caring, and it is good to let people know who he really is. He then points out that Hyun's restaurant is opening soon and he should take the opportunity to promote it. Hyun reasons that he should really advertise his restaurant. He looks around at the villagers chatting among themselves and having fun, and he realizes that the party is not bad. Meanwhile, Rice Cake is having fun eating all the meats and escaping the hands of the villagers who try to stop him. He runs around stealing meats and causing havoc. Minho notifies Hyun, but Hyun ignores him reasoning that he should have just left Rice Cake back at the other world. Hyun notices a young boy sitting alone and looking gloomy. He is surprised that there is a little kid in town, and he wonders if he is gloomy because he does not have a friend to play with. He watches as the boy's grandma brings a snack for him, but the boy throws it away. As the boy runs off, his grandma calls him Sang-Hu feeling distraught. The village head approaches her and asks what happened. She explains that Sang-Hu has been like that since he came back from school the previous day because his friend was bragging about eating a hamburger. She says she bought one for him, but she does not think it is the same. Hyun overhears their conversation and reasons that Sang-Hu does not want a hamburger from the store. A man asks if he should get a better one on his way back from work the next day. But the village head says they do not sell hamburgers in their area and they only sell it at MCD, a place with a bunch of theme parks. As the villagers worry about where they will get the hamburger for Sang-Hu, the village head says they can make it if it is not sold in their area. He points to Hyun and says they have a chef from Seoul, and he will probably know a lot about it. Hyun watches in confusion as the villagers agree with the village head, who then tells Hyun that he is all they've got to make the hamburger. He grudgingly agrees and the village head says it does not have to taste the same as sang who probably does not want to have a hamburger. He says that sang who is most likely jealous of the fact that his friend's family went out together, he explains that song hus mother is sick so she lives in a hospital, and his father is outside the country because of his job which makes sang Hu lonely and sad. As Hyun reasons that he now understands the situation, the village head tells him that san Hu is the only kid in their town so they all have to take care of him. Hyun watches the village head realizing that he seems to know everyone's situation, but the bottles of beer and bottle caps hanging around his body just keep baffling Hyun. Late at night, Hyun sits in his restaurant pondering how he will make the hamburger. He says he can easily make a hamburger, and although he has never been to MCD, he still has to do it right. Rice Cake brings his plate to show he is hungry, but Hyun reasons that the villagers had to eat the side dishes only because someone ate their meat, so making a hamburger is the least he can do for them. Rice cake rolls on the ground trying to act cute. But Hyun says there is no more food for him, but he has to taste some for him. Hyun prepares a hamburger and places it in front of rice cake. As he watches him eating, he reasons that he made the hamburger by looking at an image. But rice cake's tail is not wagging as fast. He remembers that he ate a lot while he was studying, and he went to America with a love for cooking. He feels it seems stupid that he had never been passionate about anything else. He wonders what his previous self will think of him now, and in frustration, he asks Rice Cake if he can eat more. Rice Cake barks happily and Hyun gets ready to cook reasoning that asking him to go easy on cooking is hard when he has never taken cooking easy before. As Hyun prepares the hamburger, Minho and his wife settle down with sang -Hu and his grandmother at the restaurant. Minho's wife says it smells really good and Hyun knows how to cook anything. She asks sang -Hu, who is looking solemn if he is happy to finally get to eat a hamburger. Before he can respond, Hyun arrives and places a plate of hamburger in front of him. sang -Woo has a taste and he is so happy as the hamburger is so yummy. He reasons that it is a hundred times better than the convenience store one and he tells his grandma that she smiles and says she is glad that he is happy. 
He then feels sad and admits that he actually just wanted to see his mom, and he thought he could go to Seoul where his mom is if he asked for a burger. He then apologizes to her for being rude. She hugs him also feeling sad that sang who has to go through all that. She then apologizes that she did not realize that, as they hug themselves, she says he must have been so sad that he has to live without his parents despite his young age. sang -hoo, who is now crying, says he is okay living with her. He apologizes saying he likes living with her. Hyun then says he will be going to Seoul soon and sang -hoo can come with him. sang -hoo and his grandma are surprised at his words, and he asks if he can really come along. Hyun says they may even stop by the place Song Hu wanted to go as he had never had a burger from there either. Sang Hu is so happy and he says he wants to go with Hyun, and Minho's wife tells him to take many pictures to show her when he gets back. Hyun feels he has gone too far, but as Sang Hu and his grandma leave Hyun's restaurant, they thank him with happy faces, and he promises that they will go to Seoul soon. Hyun goes through the ingredients he has left and he realizes that there are so many leftover ingredients he wonders if he should go camping with them. He then remembers that he has never actually gone camping before, and he would not have the time to go once the restaurant opens. He notices Rice Cake staring at him with an irresistible look, and he asks why he is looking at him that way as he never said he was going to the other world. Hyun tells Rice Cake that he is not going there, like always, he is unable to resist, and they later go to the other world. As Rice Cake plays around, Hyun reasons that he has been there more times than he has been to the grocery store. He admits that the view is nice, and he starts connecting his tent. Hyun has a hard time as he struggles with the tent. While Rice Cake plays around, after finally setting up the tent, he sits on the ground to catch his breath and realizes that he is hungry. Hyun prepares a meal with meat, and as he starts eating, two little squirrels come to the side staring at him. He throws some pieces of meat at them, but a huge bird flies down and eats it before the meat gets to the squirrels. After eating, Hyun sits watching the scenery. He reasons that he was worried that he would be bored, but he now realizes that doing nothing can also be satisfying, and that might be what is called healing. He wonders where rice cake went, but he is not worried as he knows he will come back when he is hungry. He decides to set up a bonfire, but unknown to him, there is something or someone watching him from the bush. The unknown being rustles the bush and Hyun, thinking it is rice cake, says he has plenty of meat for him. He turns as the being is about to snatch the food from him, and he quickly shifts. Hyun says it is definitely not rice cake. He stares at the being, who is growling, and realizes that it is a girl. Hyun notices that the being has a tail, and he wonders if it is a cat. He wonders if she is half-human and half-beast like they show in the movies. She lunges for the plate again, but he manages to shift out of her way. He wonders where Rice Cake is when he really needs him, and he tells the girl that they should resolve the issue peacefully. He places the plate on the ground asking if she is hungry. He tells her he will give her the plate of meat so she can just go back. The girl crawls to the bowl of meat and starts picking it with her mouth. She suddenly drops the beef and starts breathing through her mouth. Hyun realizes that the kinchai stew he used is spicy, and that is what is affecting her. He leaves to get her some water, but when he gets back, she has continued eating the meat. As she realizes it is still delicious, rice cake arrives and Hyun goes to serve the remaining meat for him. But Rice Cake sees the girl eating the beef and attacks her. Hyun desperately tries to stop him, but the two attacks each other. After a while of pleading with both of them to stop attacking each other, a huge man with a beastful appearance like the girl arrives. He apologizes to Hyun and takes her away, leaving Hyun bewildered. Hyun is seen cleaning the restaurant and he says that the next day is finally their opening day. He reasons that even though he came there to relax, he might have played around too much, so now that he has decided to open a business, he should prepare thoroughly. An old woman stares at the building while Hyun counts off the preparation he has completed. The woman then enters the restaurant and asks if he is open. He tells her they will open the next day, but he seems unable to turn her down, and he tells her to have a sit. Instead, 
she looks around and asks him why he is keeping the old table instead of throwing it away. She continues walking around and comments that the place is still the same. He asks her if she was there when it was a tea house, but she asks him what he will be selling. He replies that he will mainly be selling Western food like pasta and pizza, and she tells him to give her some pasta. He asks what type of pasta she would like to have, but she tells him to decide that himself. Hyun moves to the kitchen to prepare the pasta. He reasons that it is probably her first time eating pasta, and since tomato pasta is the most common, she should be able to eat it. As he prepares the pasta and serves it, he reasons that since she is his shop's first customer, he must give her the perfect treatment. He places the pasta on her table and watches from a distance as she takes the first taste. He ponders on the fact that he did not taste the meal, but he had received many compliments on the pasta, so there is no way it will not taste good. The woman drops the chopstick without finishing the pasta and asks Hyun how much it is. He is shocked as he stares at her, and the village head arrives at that moment. He sees the woman and calls her Grandma Park, asking what she is doing at the restaurant. As she leaves, she says she obviously came to eat. He points out that the opening is tomorrow, but she leaves saying she has already finished eating. He enters the restaurant to see Hyun looking dejected, as he is worried that she left so much food untouched, and he wonders what the problem is. Hyun sits in a corner feeling bad about Grandma Park not eating his pasta. The village head becomes worried and asks him what is wrong and if the preparations are not going well and he replies that is not the problem as he will be closing down the restaurant. The village head is shocked as he reasons that Hyun has not even opened the restaurant yet. He then realizes that it is because Grandma Park left a lot of food. He points out that it is not like Hyun won some international cooking competition and he cannot expect to satisfy everyone. He urges Hyun to shrug it off as it is possible Grandma Park did not come there for the food. He explains that her late husband used to come there often when the place was still a tea house, and he would go there so often that the door threshold wore out, but he passed the previous year. The village head tells Hyun that Grandma Park spent most of her time alone at home, and it has been a while since he last saw her, so he guesses she still thinks about her husband a lot. He says the dead are dead so the living should live their lives and clinging to the past is nothing but foolish. He then goes back to the issue and tells Hyun that it is not his fault as Grandma Park is rather picky when it comes to food and considering the situation she is in, he does not have to pay it any mind. Hyun says there is no way he will not pay mind after hearing all that and it is already giving him a headache so he goes to the other world to relax. As he sits watching rice cake play with the huge rabbit, he reasons if no dangerous animals are lurking around the area because he has them. He feels relieved and says there is no place as good as the other world to sort his thoughts. He remembers Grandma Park and thinks that he was shocked to see her leave so much pasta on the plate. But he feels sorry for her now that he has heard her story. As he asks himself if he should prepare some Korean food for her next time, he looks up to the tree and sees the girl lying on a branch. He is surprised to see her, but he ignores her and prepares a meal as Rice Cake is hungry. The girl sits close to him as he prepares the meal. He remembers how she stopped eating the first time due to the pepper, and he decides to skip the pepperoncini. He melts butter in a pan, adds mushrooms, and sprinkles in a bit of pepper and salt. As the cream thickens, he adds in the parmesan cheese and puts in the cooked pasta. He tops it with steak and places the meal in front of the girl. She growls at him, but he only warns her to eat up before it gets stolen. The girl seems to hesitate as she remembers how spicy it was at the first time. She bits into the steak and she is surprised at how delicious it is. She digs into the meal and Hyun, who has been watching her says she may not be articulated into words, but he can see that she liked it. Hyun sits to eat his own plate reasoning that he does not really like the pasta as the cream and steak are both greasy and heavy and that combination does not work for him, as it is more of a fusion pasta than a traditional one. The girl starts rubbing on him and he points out that she attacked him the last time they met but she is now acting all cute. He says it seems the pasta was really good 
and he reasons that it does not really matter if it's fusion or traditional pasta, as long as it suits the palate of whoever is eating it. He feels enlightened that it just has to taste good to the person eating it, and the girl watches him in confusion. Back at his restaurant, Haiyan is preparing some vegetables, and he serves them to rice cake, who completely ignores him and the vegetables, he reasons that he has to do without him this time. He reassures himself that it will not be difficult for him, as the taste of all the ingredients is ingrained in his memory, and he cannot rely on rice cake forever. Meanwhile, he had placed a notice at the restaurant door saying the restaurant would be opened next week due to personal reasons. Haiyan feels a chef who failed to satisfy his first guest does not deserve to open his restaurant and get to work. The village head goes to visit Grandma Park who is sitting in her house. He says he thinks she has finally come out of the house, but yet, she still chooses to sit there. He tells her to come out as there are so many fun things outside her house, but she only asks him what brings him to her place, and he asks if he cannot stop by his neighbor's place. He then goes on to say Haiyan was in quite a shock after she left the plate of pasta, and she says the dish did not suit her taste, and that should not have shocked him. The village head then suggests that since she does not have anything else to do, she should visit Haiyan a second time. Grandma Park asks him why she would do something so bothersome, and he replies that it could be different this time around. As he hesitates, he asks if it is that difficult for her to walk out of the gates. He urges her to give Haiyan another chance and it could be worth the effort and he leaves. Meanwhile, Haiyan is done cooking. He stares at the plate of pasta and says focusing on one main vegetable while making the dish was indeed a better choice, and since he balanced it out with some seafood, the two different tastes should work well. He reasons that the problem now is he does not know how to invite Grandma Park, and the doorbell rings. He steps out to check who it is, and he meets Grandma Park who asks him if he is open.